Hey everybody, today we see a different way that people respond to Paul's message. As soon as it was dark, the brothers and sisters sent Paul and Silas on to Berea. When they arrived, they went to the Jewish synagogue. The Berean Jews were more open-minded than those in Thessalonica. This was evident by the great eagerness with which they accepted the word and examined the scriptures each day to see whether Paul and Silas' teaching was true. Many came to believe, including a number of reputable Greek women and many Greek men. So, Paul's been having kind of a rough time in this part of the story. He's been facing a lot of rejection from his own Jewish people. And so it's a welcome relief for him to find some uh, who are actually willing to listen to him. Now, this phrase can be uh, translated a lot of different ways. I, I said it as more open-minded. Some versions will say these Berean Jews were more honorable or more receptive. Uh, and so I think it kind of leads to this question of, do we think it actually is honorable to have an open mind? Or, uh, or we're like some who take pride in the fact that they never change their opinion on anything, right? Who ridicule those as unfaithful flip-floppers who leave behind their previous way of thinking. You know, this, this idea of having an open mind, right? It's a metaphor. You can't literally open it up there. It's really kind of like, think of it like opening your mouth, right? It's like eating. The reason you open it is to close it again. Uh, and so, when we talk about having an open mind, it doesn't mean that we should be opening and accepting every single thing that we hear, right? We should be open enough to be willing to listen, but also do the work uh, to, to figure out whether it's true or not, right? If it's like opening your mouth, you got to get something to chew on a little bit. Um, and so that's what these Berean Jews are doing. Now, one of the ways that, you know, at least I always heard it was like, it's like they're going home and studying their Bibles. Well, the problem with that is they didn't have personal Bibles at home. Uh, their synagogue might have uh, some scriptures, but probably not even all of it. So that's a way we kind of import our, our modern assumptions and situation onto their, their story. But we're seeing something that I've talked about before, where you have a new experience, and that causes you to reevaluate your old interpretations of scripture. And so it's less about making sure you do your personal Bible study, and more being a person who is willing to learn. What are you willing to rethink when it comes to faith? For anything that you say, no, uh, why is that off limits? Can you entertain ideas that challenge what you've always thought? And can you see that a willingness to admit that you might be wrong is actually the greatest sign of wisdom?